Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. It's a bit of a somber day as we acknowledge Remembrance Day here in Canada, November 11th, 2024. Um, just want to remember all the fallen soldiers that fought for freedom and others' freedom as well. Give us opportunity to have hockey today. My favorite team is playing at 1.30. We have Montreal taking on Buffalo. Two bottom feeders of the NHL. It's a rough one. Four, nine, and two right now. I'm looking at the stats for Montreal. Just pathetic. You know what? I said to the boys, I go to Bantam AAA hockey, and I said to the boys, like, they're all giving me crap about how the halves are just terrible. It's like, they're not even an AHL team. Like, we've got guys that play in the NHL. Like, Pozzetta, he's a third or fourth liner in the AHL. You know, <clears throat> Baron, he's not a top two guy, and he's like a top four guy in the AHL. Like we're, I bet you the top t top tier CHL team could beat the AHL team in Laval. You know, might be a bit of a stretch, but they'd give them a game. That's for damn sure. All right, um, and we're also in a tough division right now. Like <clears throat> the fact that the Boston Bruins are seven and seven. I mean, yeah, they lost Bergeron, big whoop. Okay, he's a great player, but. They're still a good team. Like, McAvoy's a top-tier defenseman in the NHL. They got Pasternak, top-tier forward. Like, Montreal doesn't have any of those players. It's plain and simple. They don't have anything like that. The Suzuki is a... Suzuki, Caulfield, or second-liners at best. Okay, they're not first-liners. Line A is first-liner, I guess. I mean, that still needs to be proven to me. And he can't play, which is too bad. Doc is pathetic so far this year. Anyway, he might as well be injured like last year. It was made absolutely no impact, no positive impact on the team uh, so far. Anyway, this video is not to rant with the Habs, but I think the Sabres will beat them. You know, I'd love for the Habs win, but uh, let's get back to the games here and out of the standings. <clears throat> we have the Sharks and the Flyers. Like The Flyers need to win this game. Or else Torrell is going to get fired. Both similar records. 5-8-2 for the Flyers. 5-9-2 for the Sharks. Sharks are trying to climb out of a hole that they've created. And you know what? The Flyers... Torrell is going to get fired if he doesn't start playing Mishkov. That's for sure. Like, I'd like to see Montreal swap coaches with Philly. See if Torts can fire up the Habs. But, you know, Torts isn't going to do anything. The coach... They're screaming for the coach's head in Montreal. Yes, they're not performing, but he can only do so much with the players that go out in the ice. Like, let's get some players out there in the stack division. Like, come on. Predators, Avalanche. Predators really stepped up their game since the start of the year, um, which is good to see. I like Smashville, all right? I've yet to been to Nashville. I want to go. Um, they're 5 9 1, though. Like, they're in last. They're behind the Blackhawks. <clears throat> but. Um, I don't think they'll beat the Avalanche today either. Um, Stars, Penguins. Stars should easily win this game. They're on the road, but Pittsburgh's not great. To be completely honest, I don't know how they beat Washington the other day, but Washington's a... They just play... The, it's like a no-stress environment in Washington. I've watched when I... I feel like when I watch those games, like no stress. Washington's out there doing this thing. Pierre-Luc Dubois is thriving. And just because I don't think anybody gives a crap. They're going out there, they're playing hockey, and they're winning games. Nobody cares right now. There's no stress in Washington. There's no media, really. All the media is focused on Trump and Kamala Harris. All right, so we got the Kings and the Flames. Ugh, just a, to me, a tough game. Like, the Kings are 9-4-3, and three, decent record. Flames are 7-5-3, and three, you know, terrible. It's better improvement than last year. I'd take the Kings today. Um, just hold on here. We got the Hurricanes and the Golden Knights. Okay, this is going to be a good game. Like, Carolina's good. Golden Knights are good. I'm going to give the edge to Carolina, even though they're on the road. Let's take a look at the standings here. The like Carolina's tied, or not tied. They're two points behind the Devils. And where can we get Vegas here? Oh, we got to click another button. Click another button. Um, they're behind the Kings. Like, I find the Pacific Division is one of the weakest divisions in hockey right now. We have the Kings. Like, the Oilers, I'm not sold on the Oilers. The Flames do nothing for me. The Canucks are all right. 
the Golden Knights are all right. The Kings, they're, they're all right, but they're not great. Um, the Jets are obviously good. The Wild are good, and the Stars are good. And I think the Avalanche are good. Other than that, that division drops off. So the Central is better than the Pacific. And then if I look at the Atlantic, Florida's good. The Leafs are good. The Bruins should be better. The Lightning are good. Okay, Detroit, Ottawa, and Buffalo, they're pretty good bottom-tier teams. Okay, they're on their way up. They just can't get any momentum going because the top teams are still so good. Then I look at the Metropolitan. The Devils are good. Hurricanes are good. Capitals shouldn't be where they are, but they are. There's no stress environment, like I just said. They're a good team. The Rangers are good. The Islanders are just fair. And then it starts to drop off. Like the Islanders, Penguins, Blue Jackets, and Flyers. I think the Flyers should be out of last place. But to me, it's the Atlantic, Metropolitan, and then Central, and then the Pacific. So those are my picks for today and my little rants. It's a long video. But anyway, I want you to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you can cash some bets in today. Comment down below what you think of the season so far. Who are your teams? I want to know who you like, okay? I want to know who you like. Let's create some engagement on this channel because it's growing every day. Thanks for watching, guys.